Hi friends, welcome to another massive freezing, freezer cooking day. Um, I have lots of things that I'm making today. Just like in my um, previous video, I'll try to check in every 30 minutes. It seems to work out best so I don't forget to show you what I'm doing. The dog just came in, sorry about that. And um, But first, I am starting out my freezer cooking day not how I normally like to start. I am having to go to the grocery store because this weekend was just busy and I haven't gotten my um, grocery haul yet. So that'll work. Um, I'll be able to share with you how much I spent. But first, we have to go get the things. So it is right at like 8.38 and um, I am getting ready to go to Aldi's. It doesn't, um, uh, Aldi doesn't open until 9.00. So it'll be fine, and I need to make, I need to go to Aldi, I will probably need to go to Walmart, I have to go to the Dollar Tree, and probably a, a second, a third grocery store that has um, the uh, meat that I like. So, kind of a busy thing, so I'll check it. Okay, I'm at Aldi's, and I want to talk, uh, Aldi, uh, am I the only one that calls it all Aldi's? I'm at Aldi and I wanted to talk to you just a second about budget. So I have $250 cash. You guys know we're doing the Dave Ramsey thing. So cash is king. So I have my budget and that is going to last me. Um, I'm going to make about 30 meals. So I'm hoping to get that all in that 250 budget. And on top of that, I am going to... Um, buy like our normal like other little things we have some friends coming over so I'm going to get some soda and things like that and just some general extra things that we need around the house our regular grocery budget before we did these freezer cooking was about $500. Kind of a good rule of thumb is that if you um about $100 per person um per month so there's four of us that'd be four hundred dollars we always seem to go over that and i always also like to add my toiletries and things into that budget so we do 500 and the thing that it surprised me the most is that my budget was actually less because i'll probably spend a little bit um about 250 i might go over a little um but then the next weeks i'll only, instead of having 125 dollars to spend i'll only have like 50 maybe 25 some weeks i may not even go but it, that's just for like my friends fresh ingredients, milk, um, fresh vegetables, and things like that. So it actually saves me money. It's crazy. All right, got my bags and my quarter. Don't forget your bags and your quarter at Ollie. Let's go. Okay, it is 9.42, and I got a lot of things off my list. And um, I spent $149.12, so I'm doing good on my budget. So now, but I still need to go to Walmart and pick up some things and that'll be uh, some of those are more expensive I also need to get steaks at one of our grocery stores so that'll be a little bit pricier and I need to go get all my pans from the Dollar Tree so I'm but I'm I think I'm right on target I think I'm doing just fine okay done at Walmart it's 10 18 I still have to go to the Dollar Tree and to the other grocery store I spent $50 in Walmart. Um, honestly, most of that was not for freezer cooking, but in the interest of just being transparent, and it is part of our grocery budget because, you know, um, when you're doing the Dave Ramsey thing, it's not like that's part of it, and it's all part of it. So um, I did spend $50. Um, a lot of that was things um, like I got soda for tonight and party stuff, or, you know, not really party. We're just having friends over for games and stuff. So, um, so a lot of that was that. But, um, you know, it is what it is. Um, yeah, so, but I have $50 left to spend, and I have to go to the Dollar Tree, and then I have to go to the other grocery store. At the other grocery store, I just need, um, I need two roasts. I think I was going to do two pork roasts, but now, depending on the price, I might do one beef and do the Mississippi pot roast. It's been, like, crazy on Pinterest, and I bought some pepperoncinis for that. So that wasn't even on my list of things that I was going to do, so that's, um... But I think I might do that. And then um, a pork one for pulled pork. And then I need um, two pounds of steak, just like cheap steak for, um, uh, sorry, this light guy was like, look at me, film me. <laughs> He's like, you're crazy. Um, uh, two steaks for the uh, steak fajitas. Yeah. So, all right, let's, let's go. Okay, I spent $15 at the Dollar Tree, and so um, I counted what I have left, and I think I have right at um, $40 left um, 
for the other grocery store, which it'll probably take most of that for those two roasts and the steaks. So I am doing great. Um, the $15 um, at the Dollar Tree was um, mostly um, aluminum foil. Um, all my pans, all my aluminum uh, pans that I need to for the freezer. Um, see the aluminum foil. Um, some to, Betty Crocker to go containers for the uh, leftovers and things that I needed. And um, uh, things like that. Um, I think I got the clean wrap at Aldi, so I didn't get that. Um, I also bought a, a thing of the like best smelling bubble bath in the world. Yeah. Anywho, there we go. If you have a price cutter in your area, you'll know that they have really high prices and really amazing food. Like I love our price cutters. They're so good. So good. Okay, so that's done, and oh my gosh, it worked out so good. I think I said I had, thought I had around forty dollars left. I actually had like thirty-five, which is fine because my total was thirty-three dollars and something. I'm so excited! Came in, I worked it. Hi, high five. Okay, so now let's get home and cook all this food. It is eleven oh four, so yeah, it's a little later than I wanted to get started cooking. But oh, and I also bought. Don't judge. Just don't judge. I needed it. So, yeah, let's go cook. Okay, here is the damage. It's a dog. $250 worth. All right, I'm gonna get all of this put in the, the meat and everything. I'm gonna get put in the um, fridge because um, it can be kind of thawing out and everything. And that's our German Shepherd. And start cooking. Okay, it is noon. I have been working for about 15 minutes and let's see what we've got started. Okay, I have a total of three crock pots going. Um, here's two of them. I have one of them over there. I'll show you in just a second. Um, this is not sponsored by crock pot, but hey, crock pot, look me up. We can work together. Anyway, in this crock pot, this is my crock pot um, electric pressure cooker. And this is, um, I've not used this thing before, so uh, it, it is kind of a trial run, but um, I just got it yesterday. I'm super excited. But in this is the world famous Mississippi uh, pot roast that everybody is penning like crazy on Pinterest. And uh, I'm going to try it. Um, maybe you should have tried something a little bit easier first. I don't know. We're just going to see how it goes. But that is what is in that pressure cooker. I'm so excited about that. I'll let you know how it goes. And this is one pork roast for my, um, uh, like pulled, we're going to, I'm going to do some, uh, pull freezer pulled pork and crock pot number three is over here with some chicken now if you watch my other videos you know that i usually cook the like my fajita chicken and everything on the um just on a pan on the stove but we really liked the cilantro lime chicken and it was cooked in the crock pot so we liked how that shredded chicken tasted in our fajitas so i'm actually cooking this for some fajitas and things and so it is in this crock pot okay so that's what we've done in the first 15 minutes or so. Um, yeah, let's see what's next. It's like um, 12.43, yeah. So um, Jacob got home, he uh, got called out on a call. So um, I spent some time chatting with him. Um, so I didn't get as much done this um, little half hour, half, like 45 minutes, but that's okay. Let me show you what I got. Steak fajitas are done. So I try to, um, process all of my meat first so that I have it for all my other recipes but um, I really wanted to um, wait until that was um, the steak was all finished because I um, needed to use my pan so I'm getting ready to take that out and use my pan to cook the hamburger and stuff but I also did this it's in the freezer so I'll just give you a quick look but it is garlic bread now I inserted a picture um, at the store, garlic toast, frozen garlic toast. It's $2.40 some, I think it was, um, for eight slices. And what I end up buying is these already made, which I mean, in a perfect world, I like to make my own, right? But 
total grace here. You just do what you can do and this still saves money. So these are a dollar, just spent that, but it's a dollar. And I can get, we, I make eight slices, so that's about, you know, it's like two a piece for my family, which that works out really well. And so basically it makes these a quarter, 25 cents a meal instead of the 250. So basically I have them in the freezer fresh, flash freezing and then when they firm up a little bit I will just put them in um, some Ziploc bags and I will do another round of them just because I have limited space. If I had plenty of space I would do them all at once. Okay keeping with the updating every 30 minutes it is one o'clock and um, yeah so it was basically 15 minutes that time but you get how it goes. Um, so the fajitas are done and ready to um, be processed when I get the um, the vegetables done for the peppers um, for that. I've got four pounds of hamburger cooking on the stove for um, that is for like the pizzas and things like that. Over here I am processing hamburgers, hamburger patties. So I've got um, eight of those. I just finished that. I'm going to switch out the garlic bread in the freezer and get um, those processed in bags and um, trade places with these so these can flash freeze. And then I'm gonna do another eight patties. The crock pots are doing well. Got 35 minutes left on the pressure cooker. Super excited to see how that turns out. This is how they're packaged. This is how I process the hamburger patties. I just freeze them with a, a piece of parchment paper in between them. Just help them come apart when they're frozen. Okay, it's 1.30. I got the hamburger patties finished. I got another two pounds of hamburger cooked. And so all of my hamburger is cooked um, and or processed in some way. And my pressure cooker just went off. And so I'm waiting anxiously for the pressure to release a little bit. Um, they said they recommended you wait um, 10 minutes after it's done. And so then we're going to release pressure and try this recipe. Okay, it's 2 o'clock. I feel like I've really just made a mess. <laughs> Um, so what did we do? Um, Jacob came down. So we tried the, um, Mississippi pot roast. Um, it was really good. Um, I've seen a lot of these, like, crazy reviews on it, like, saying it's just absolutely, oh, I'm looking tired or something. I got some scares and it's hot in here. <sighs> it is getting warm in here. Um, but anyway, I got some, everybody was like, oh my gosh, this is the best thing ever. It's good. It's, I mean, I, it's good. It's not my favorite pot roast um i think i like traditional pot roast a little bit better but yeah it's really good i'm trying a little bit different than jacob said he liked it because it was just a little bit different than we normally have so anyway so i got that done i think i might clean my pressure cooker and i might try to make some chicken in it i don't know that might it's gonna put me a little bit behind because i could probably cut up chicken i'm trying to think if i would be the best waste or best waste of my time best 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 way to spend my time that makes sense oh my gosh I'm tired already right so I need to make some chicken for the um, pasta dishes that I'm making and the pizza and uh, at least one pizza and so I'm thinking maybe I might try it might put me a little bit behind like because I could probably I don't know how long it would cook like an hour or two okay quick tip don't listen to me apparently chicken cooks for like 10 minutes in the pressure cooker so we're gonna try that um, yeah, I thought it would cook like an hour. <sighs> we'll try it. Can it, really, can it really cook chicken in 10 minutes? Really? Hmm. Okay. Okay, it's 2.30. I really didn't do much of that 30 minutes except research how long to cook chicken in the Instapot and for the Crock-Pot electric pressure cooker. And I'm not still sure <laughs> so um we've got it going and it's still like i just showed you it's still heating up the pressure i did do a lot of dishes and just kind of clean up some things and i checked my crock pots to make sure that the other the things slow cooking were doing good seriously though guys if this cooks in like 10 or even 20 minutes like that chicken over there in the crock pot like what well, i still look i thought i had like a black eye like oh those are those dark circles are, so I do think I need a break. I'm tired and it's hot in here, so I think I'm gonna take a quick break. And yeah, and might just kind of play around with this pressure cooker thing and read some more on that. And then I'll get back to cooking. So see ya at three.
three. Guys, guys, I just made shredded chicken in like 10 minutes. I, this is like amazing. Oh, by the way, if you didn't know, shred your chicken in your KitchenAid. You're welcome. Brilliant. Anyway, I'm so impressed with this thing. I'm putting another, another, another pot. And oh, so um, I read that you could um, put it in pineapple juice and it um, tastes a little sweet and moist. No, oh, the pineapple juice is kind of an after flavor. It's pretty good though. I'm gonna use it on pizza. Okay, I took a 30 minute break and I feel better. So now um, I'm getting back to it. I did play with the pressure cooker and stuff, but I still like, other than read about that in Pinterest, that's about it. So now I'm getting ready. I need to, I want to finish up those um, fajita bags. So, um, cause the steak is done and now I have this shredded chicken and I'm going to use that for the fajitas. Cause why not? And um, I'm going to, um, so I'm going to chop up my peppers and my onions and get those just um, a quick saute, not, not anything, you don't want to like really, really cook them, but um, just get them a little bit soft and yeah, and then get this in the freezer. It's 3.30 and I've had a productive 30 minutes. I got all of the vegetables, the peppers and everything uh, chopped and the onion chopped for my fajitas and I got those in the pan and cooked and they're cooling and ready. Um, I got another um, package, it's uh, um, two and a half pounds of the boneless skinless chicken breast um, tenderloins. I got another one of those done in the crock pot, um, electric pressure cooker, so loving that. Um, so I've got the chicken set back for the fajitas and then I've got the ones that I have now are going to go for pizzas and I still have those pasta dishes and stuff. So I'm going to, um, it's kind of, I just used the water from the last time from the broth and everything. So um, with that, with the broth that it kind of made this time, it's a little bit too much um, liquid. So I'm going to empty some of that out and I'm gonna put on another round of chicken in that thing. So loving it. And because like, seriously guys, seriously, the same thing is in this, this. And it's been cooking for three and a half hours and it's still not done. <sighs> yeah. This is a game changer. So, um, yeah, that's what I have done. Um, it is getting warm in here, guys. So I am hoping to wrap up some of the meat um, finally and start the assembly process and start getting some things in the freezer. That's what I'm looking forward to. Pizzas are done. I just need to, to wrap them all up and get them in the freezer. Another one of the uh, chickens are done. It's, it's on keep warm now, but... Another one of the shredded chicken. Gotta get that out and shredded. It's 4 30. It's time to take all these things down to the freezer. So Jacob's coming down downstairs to take all those to the freezer, to the deep freeze down in the basement. Okay, it's five o'clock and I'm starting to feel it. So um, I need to empty the dishwasher and put on some more dishes. And let's see, what did I get done this, this time? Okay, all the pizzas got done. I didn't really check in in the middle of this hour. Sorry, I was busy talking and things. Um, all the pizzas got done. All the fajitas are assembled and packaged up and in the freezer. So I have two things of steak fajitas and two things of chicken fajitas. And those are all finished. And I've got the pasta on boiling for the two pasta, maybe three pasta dishes. I haven't decided yet. Um, I thought I was doing one thing and then I forgot that I had actually planned on doing a... I thought I was doing a... Uh, Alfredo base uh, pasta. I am doing one, but for some reason I thought I was doing two, and I planned for that. But I actually think that what I would originally planned for was a uh, marinara, like a penne um, with hamburger and marinara sauce. So I don't know. I made you both. Why not, right? So um, yeah, that's what's going on this half hour. It is five o'clock though, and I've got to start wrapping some stuff up because we have guests coming at seven. So I gotta do something with this hot mess and something with my house because. It's not too bad. I mean, I mean, it's bad, but I mean, when you think about how many meals I've made, it's like, well, you know, that kind of thing. It gets this, this dirty with one meal, so. Anyway, I gotta get things done. Pasta dish is done. Okay, guys, it's 5.30, and I don't know how much more I'll vlog because um, we've got um, 
company coming at seven and I need to wrap everything up, like I said. But I want to go over what I've gotten done so far and what I'm going to do the rest of the time. My hair stuck to my face. That's backwards. Okay. So um, we got 16 hamburger patties made. I did garlic bread. I have some more garlic bread to finish, but I did a, a few bags of that. Uh, the beef pot roast, the uh, chicken fajitas, I got two bags of those, two bags of steak fajitas. I got nine total pizzas made. Um, I got the Tuscan uh, chicken and the chicken Alfredo. And I also have the um, pulled pork and the um, crock pot. Oh, that's why I was like looking at my dog. I don't know what he was getting into, but he's fine. Um, over there in the crock pot so that will definitely get made and as well as making all the extra hamburgers so I will have several bags of just hamburger and several bags of just chicken um great for those meals that you just um you just add you know sides to or pasta or rice or whatever you want to add to it um so I will have several of those um some things I want to get done before the company um gets here I really want to get those garlic those um chicken parmesans made because they were so good last time they were so good so um I do know that that is going to uh, require cubed chicken so oh sorry my phone is going off so I don't know if um that'll quite get done but I'm really hoping um pancakes my kids may just absolutely like leave home if I don't make them <laughs> um so I need to get the the pancakes made and um let's see that's the only other things on my list that I want to get done was chicken enchiladas which if I don't get that, that done that's okay um cookies those will get done even I may make those while we have company because that's totally fine um they'll and I'll just put some in the oven and and they can eat um, cookies. Um, and I need to finish up the garlic bread. Um, so that's kind of what um, the plan is for after this. And <laughs> I gotta clean up all of this mess. Um, Connor just came in and emptied the dishwasher, so it is empty so I can reload it and get um, all the dishes done. I think I can get them all done with one load. So, and then I gotta clean off the rest of stuff out of my table and get things taken to the freezer. So, all of that, um, it's been, um, been good we got a lot of meals made and I hope to finish up a few things so if I don't um, film anymore thanks for thanks for watching guys see you later